How are investors taking this? Because at first we were actually down on the stock price and now we're higher. What do they seem to like? Yeah, investors seem to be struggling to figure out exactly what to make from this earnings report. As you mentioned, shares started down and now they've recovered a bit. Uh, we still have some information that's spilling out. The numbers just came out a little bit ago. Uh, we got uh, net income results that were better than expected. We've also got divisional breakdowns here, so we're able to see how the smartphone division did and the memory chip division. I think one of the signals that uh, investors are taking as a positive uh, sign is that uh, Samsung is saying they're seeing a a gradual recovery in the memory chip market. Uh, as you recall, we've seen a pretty sharp downturn in demand uh, as people stop buying uh, smartphones and computers at the same rates that they had in the past. That caused a pretty big buildup in the memory chip market. Prices were declining. That hit profits at all of the memory chip makers, including uh, Samsung. And now Samsung is saying that they're seeing a bit of a recovery there. Uh, Hynix, their, their Korean rival, also said that they're starting to see a recovery in the market. So I think investors are beginning to see that as perhaps a sign uh, that things are going to get better in the second half of the year. When it comes to the electronic side of the business, what's the outlook there given that they're really positioning for this kind of affordability price war well, with Apple's more affordable products? Well, it's interesting. As you say, they unveiled uh, their new smartphones uh, just overnight a few hours ago, uh, including two foldable phones. They have bet a lot of money on this foldable phone category. They're innovating. They've got the components, including the screens, to be able to innovate there. And those, uh, those sales are taking off quite a bit. It's still a very small volume compared to the mainstream market, but foldable phones are catching on. They're hitting price points that are more attractive to people. Their, their uh, base phone is about $1,000 and their higher end phone is $1,800. What they've told us is they want to bring that price down quite a bit and make the phones much more affordable and try to bring them into the mass market. That's a challenge, of course, because the screens are quite expensive to make on top of all the other components that they need. But that's the direction that they're pushing in and they feel like they'd like to get there as soon as possible. Uh, analysts do anticipate that Apple is going to look at this market and perhaps introduce a foldable iPhone. So Samsung wants to get there first with something that people can afford a bit more easily than these high-end phones.